Oops, oops. I had this other riff in mind, and I tried it and it worked out, and now it doesn't. Um, it is October 9th, 2018, 3.17 p.m., and this is episode 250. Wow! Just seems like 49 videos ago, we were like at 200. I don't know. Um, I was doing this cartoon about uh, Taylor Swift and this whole mob mentality thing or mob defense that the Republicans have got going. Um, which is really, really stupid. Oh, they come out and they protest. They're mobs. As you know, the Tea Party weren't mobs or anything. They were people exercising their constitutional rights. I forget the E and the they are. As in they are. I catch it right about here. Right after the the E and angry, I was like, "Wait a minute." Um, after I uh, drew this cartoon, I mean, like this little rough here, I went and looked at Taylor Swift's Instagram, and I kind of saw how her hair really is. It doesn't look like that. It's not all the wavy stuff. Um, but apparently Republicans are really, 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 really freaking out because Taylor Swift came out politically, and she endorsed two uh, Democrats in Tennessee which is her home, even though I hear that she has homes in a couple other states. And this really, really upset the right-wing blogosphere, 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 um, uh, emotionally, just really, 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 really upset. I mean, all they have now is like Kanye and Ted Nugent and Kid Rock, you know, it's, it sucks for them. Nobody talented likes them. Um, So they're, they're kind of freaking out. They're like, it's not important, but yeah, they can't stop talking about it. And apparently with her doing this, um, within a day, like 65,000 people had registered to vote um, on the, on the vote.org site. And normally it's 6,000 a day that they get, but they got 65 after Taylor Swift did this. T Swifty yo, she, she has massive sway and power. Um, she might be the top earner in entertainment today. Um, anyway, they're upset. But the thing is, she's like pure and white and blonde. So the 4chan Daily Stormer crowd thought that she was one of them. Like, she's one of us. Look at her. And then, and they, they started sharing all these memes of her with Nazi quotes, like from Hitler. And, of course, the one person that creates it, he knows it's not true. But then everybody else who shares it, they think it's true. Nobody else who reads it. So the 4chan crowd is really, 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 really believing that she was a Nazi. Just like them. And there were other photoshops of her with MAGA hats. And they just, since they get all their news from memes, <laughs> they thought it was real. So now they were really, really, really upset. But what really, really, really pushed them over the edge was that um, a while back, I don't know how long ago this was, I don't think I looked that up in my research. I don't do any research but going on 4chan. I was having a hard time with twirling here. It, it was pissing me off. It kept downsizing and stuff. Um, you can see me do this for 15 minutes, folks. Um, and then I even change it after I do it. But I don't think I recorded it when I did it twice. It's the second time. But anyway, what really, really, really pushed them over the edge was that the 4chan crowd had a Name Your Cat contest or Name Your Cat. I don't know what the deal was. They was naming a cat. Why? I don't know. I didn't go to 4chan. I mean, I feel dirty enough watching Donald Trump speak on TV. Yeah, I, so I can't go to these racist websites. It's just, I just feel kind of sick. After the whole Kavanaugh hearing, I've had a hard time watching the news the past two days. My TV has still been on news, except for last night I watched some football. But it's very, very difficult to watch news whenever you're just kind of sick. And hearing Donald Trump speak, like at that thing yesterday where they did the, folk, the fake swearing in of Kavanaugh, that was just disgusting. And I just had a really, really hard time. So hearing Donald Trump speak, I can't really go to these websites because I, I, I'm already sick enough, okay? But anyway, they had this contest about naming the cat. A cat, someone's cat, I don't know. But one of the winning cat names was Meredith. And then they discovered that Taylor Swift named her kitty, her new kitty Meredith. So Fortune decided that they had named Taylor Swift's cat. Taylor Swift is the secret celebrity lurking there hosting, and she let 4chan name their cat. 
The only problem with this whole concept was, the theory, is that Taylor Swift actually named her cat before this contest. But, again, we were talking about conservatives. So this is really, 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 really upsetting. The heart, the heart, they're in pain. I we're in pain. So I went for lunch today with a friend. We went to a bar. And um, this guy sitting close to us, he's kind of schnockered. And he's like, ah, you look like a director. I'm like, what? You look like a director. Like you direct film. Um, never get that one before. He goes, it's not an insult. It's a compliment. I said, okay. He goes, well, maybe not a director, but maybe like a writer. I said, well, I am a writer. Goes, oh, so then he wants to know what I write. I told him I write columns. And I didn't tell him about the cartooning part. So that really gets him going. And he's like, well, I hope they're all like positive for Trump. Defending our president. And I said, you know, this is why I don't talk politics in bars, because they're not. And then his buddy sitting next to him goes, I don't care what they say. Donald Trump got to the highest office in the world, and he's still a billionaire. <laughs> still a billionaire. And, again, that's why I don't talk politics in bars. <laughs> and that's when I said, check, please. Time to go home. Um, let's do some shout out. Um, uh, bu -bu 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 start off with Arlo, which I had to review and approve very four comments for Ariel. Um, we're gonna run out of time. No, we're not. Okay, the whole thing was BS. Partisan politicians have no shame. Are we telling me 49 senators believed her and they all they happened to be Democrats? Well, 41 finishers, da, 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 said finishers. Well, 51 senators didn't believe her and they all happened to be Republican. The 39, 51, 61, some other, no, like that. Need a Russian, whatever about it. Uh, sorry, Arlo. <laughs> There's like so much there. Uh, you're not too proud of either of them. Neither side listened to her. I don't agree with that, Arlo. I think the Democrats did listen to her, and I think they did try to. Yeah, they politicized it, but they really, really was trying to keep a really horrible person off the Supreme Court. So I'm going to give it to the Democrats on this one. I mean, the Republicans just rammed this whole thing through. It just was not good. Also, one of those guys at the bar showed me a porno tape on his phone, which was like looked like something that was human humanly physically impossible and I'm gonna try to spend the rest of the day trying to get that out of my head I don't know why Arlo just reminded me of that um, Ariel said I know that the conservative artist who had a cartoon of Lady Liberty dancing in celebration of Kavanaugh's confirmation is a friend of yours he's just expressing how he and his like-minded associates feel but I really want to kick him in the shins well he is a friend of mine Ariel but if you want to kick him in the shins I'll hold him down for you I feel like I need to have a talk with him, but I hate to like disrespect somebody's viewpoint and accuse them of not really having that viewpoint. But it seems like he's trying really, 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 really hard to go for the despicable audience. Uh, I mean, there is actually a, a huge audience for that and money. If I was a conservative cartoonist, I believe I would have a lot more clients and I would make, I, I would think I'd be actually more well known and my stuff would be published more if I was a conservative cartoonist. But then again, if I was a conservative cartoonist, I would not do the same thing that they do every single day and stuff. But then again, that's why I'm probably why I'm not a conservative cartoonist. That's because I don't, I don't think I suck, you know. So, Republicans tweeting images of champagne and saying it's not beer is a real slap in the face. It's mocking the victims, and it's obvious alcohol induced assaults. Not to mention a possible drinking problem on his part. That is true. I agree with that. I just had two beers, so maybe. <laughs> Can we talk about that right now? Uh, but yeah, I agree. It is mocking the victims. And it's mocking the whole thing that they said wasn't true. It's like, ha ha, it is true. We gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I am kind of proud of my Taylor Swift character. All right. And Ariel, thinking to herself, she didn't see a video yesterday, which was Sunday. Um, if you went to your YouTube page, make sure the site didn't screw up again and forget to send me a notification. If it was going to send, if it was going to forget to send someone a notification, it would be you, Ariel. All right. Then she wrote, I guess that moment of feeling, wait, WTH, did I miss something? Is what I get for complaining about your posting frequency. Yes. Is what I get for complaining. Yes. I'm reading your quote here, actually. So don't blame me for mispronouncing that. Um, Ariel said I didn't see Robert's comment saying he's an MFR with four proofs of purchase. 
I just stop everything and go click like because it made me laugh out loud. Alright. <laughs> Even though I wrote that Kavanaugh would get confirmed two days ago and I believed it, it still made me sick to my stomach when I heard about the confirmation. It proves the depths to which the Republican Party has sunk. Yeah, I was kind of nauseous also. And Ariel agrees with Robert. I do deserve a break. I work very hard. We appreciate it. I do work hard. So hard. So hard. Even when I went out with my friend, I took my uh, Service Pro with me. And I responded to stuff with one of my clients uh, that I'm doing the cover for. And I edited the blog so Ariel wouldn't find mistakes to tell me about. Um, after my copy editor got to me. I knew he'd get to me while I was eating my bowl of chili. Alvarez acoustic and has this P90 like in the bridge in the neck position. And I want it. I'm gonna go to his house and steal it if I want to. If only I knew where he lived and he didn't own a lot of guns. So, anyway, probably won't do that. But it was a sweet looking guitar. And usually, my friend has horrible tasting guitars. I don't want anything he has. But this thing looked pretty cool. And I understand that he watches these videos every now and then. I might hear that. So if you hear that, I'm not talking about you, Rick. <clears throat> and there are two cats in this because as I was reading and researching about Taylor Swift with this stuff, that's when I discovered she had kitties. And she has two. And one's name is Meredith. And her cat is not a Nazi. So. I'm very, very relieved to find out that Taylor Swift does not have a Nazi kitty. Though I did have a friend in the past who had a cat with AIDS. So she told me that she was trying to give it away. So I walked to the newsroom of the newspaper and I asked, started asking people if anybody, anybody wanted a cat with AIDS. There were no takers. She even told me, stop saying that. Stop putting it that way. I did not know cats could get, could get AIDS. So maybe it was something AIDS related. I don't know. I don't understand. Maybe it shared a hypodermic needle with somebody. I don't know. comments I did not know who to put in this window with Taylor Swift so I just drew a woman I, I wasn't sure and I wanted to be a woman not just some dude because I don't want to make it look like she's being managed by some guy so that's why I went with one um, I had this other idea for a sign while I was coloring and you'll see it pop up because I did not record myself making it so it's a little weird but I think you'll like it. But the weird thing is, online nobody has commented on that yet. Also, people are telling me that they can't share this uh, cartoon. They're sharing it, but some people are saying that the image won't pop up or something, so they can't do it. So maybe that's why we are only at like 100 today. Let me go see. We are at 100. 124. Yesterday, we got like 500. And I think it is an FB glitch, which is what my friend just said. I'm gonna have to comment on that. Did you know that Taylor Swift has like, um, let me go look here. Taylor Swift has 83 million, million followers on Twitter. And she doesn't even tweet. Really, go look at her uh, Twitter account. She hasn't done like a new tweet since June or May. She has 83 million. Donald Trump has 55, and 75% of his are bots. He probably really only has like 20 million, which is still good. It's good, but it's not as good as he perceives himself to be. And on Instagram, Taylor Swift has 112 million, and apparently she uses Instagram a lot more because that's where she did her statement. So I checked her out there and I actually started following her. Because, you know, 
That's the second time I've drawn her in the last year, so she might be newsworthy. small thing is kind of annoying me though that they're doing this crap oh they're mobs they're mobs they're registering people to vote they they want women to speak out about sexual harassment they're a mob they want a better environment they're mobs it's kind of funny that the guy you know who, who tells his people to go ahead and hit somebody accuses others being a mob like today he or he accused uh, the protesters in the capital of being paid but they hadn't been paid yet. This is a guy that doesn't pay people himself. And he actually employs people to stand behind him at rallies. That's what he did to play shirt guy. All right, there's your cartoon, people. We are done. This is 250. Thanks for coming by. And uh, please leave me a comment. Click a likey. And uh, share this on social media. And subscribe to the YouTube channel. And that's it. Just do that. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Comment, comment, comment. I would appreciate it. And I will see all you freaks tomorrow. I love you very much. And uh, yeah, we got 250 down. Bye.